Hey guys, it's Nixie here. And I just wanted to go over a quick little tutorial for something for guys speedrunning Slap City. Um, with 1.0 finally being out, I think it's safe to say that input buffering is going to be staying in the game. It will be a consistent part of speedruns. And for any of you who do not know what input buffering is or what it looks like, I'm going to give you some examples as well as explain exactly how to do it. This trick is 100% worth learning. It will save you time pretty much any IL, except possibly quad O in some situations. The only reason for that is of how quad O's start usually is. However, in pretty much every other IL, this will save you time in one way or another on almost any. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you with Asha first, just because Asha's main one is his teleports or using his, um, Air dodge, as aerials aren't really gonna him, aren't gonna matter too much for him, but uh, teleports definitely will. So we're gonna go ahead and jump in with Asha. I haven't done his story mode yet, but I'm gonna show you guys how to buffer. So, as you can see at the, at the start of a stage, like no matter how much I move my stick around, or if I you know mash buttons, can't do anything, right? But. There we go. Right. So with a simple little trick, by simple, it's kind of, it's a little more difficult than it may sound. But with a little bit of a trick, and have an input follow, or carry over from the previous state of the game into the state of the game. The way that this works, input buffering in Slap City, at least from my understanding, works on... Uh, it, it looks at what you're currently able to do, which with an in-place air dodge, you're not able to make any other input. Right? You can't move or anything. But during that time, if I make a new input, it tries to do that on the next available frame. And the next available frame would be while I'm in the air for the single frame before stage starts. The little dust cloud that comes up when I restart. You're in the air for a single frame. If I were to buffer an aerial, see? Asha did one frame of an air there. So, the way that the buffering works, from my understanding, like I said, is that on the next available frame of, of movement, it attempts to run the input that you tried to buffer while you couldn't move. The reason why it works so well is because when you try to do it out of, I mean, I guess it does work out of special fall too. Um, but yeah, so the way that you do this, let me just explain it. The way that I set up my buffers, I do a jump, I air dodge in place, and then I make the buffered input. So in this case, we're going to do a side B. So it would be jump, air dodge, side B, and pause all at once. So the input looks something like this. I'm going to do it on the D-pad so you can see it light up. Do so you see how quick those inputs are? It's a very quick side special pause. Okay, so we're going to try to, we're going to run that. There we go. That's a quick little teleport buffer. Um, obviously, as I haven't really played Ash's story mode, I don't really know the benefit of using buffers for him. And I do assume that most of his buffers will end up being something similar to this with just a forward wave dash. However, if we want to look at some more extreme cases of buffering, we can go ahead and take a look at Fish. Ultra Fish Bungeon 3000. Ages like hit the road become extremely broken with buffering. Because you can do something like this. Buffer into his side B. And I mean, I was moving during that whole first part of the section. Part of the stage, right? It's incredibly time saving. You can also buffer into new moves, but that's another piece of tech for a. That's a whole video on its own. Honestly. That's not how you do the stage at all. Um, other things that you can do with that, so that was buffering side B, you can buffer up these. Case of N fish here. I'm gonna show you a wave dash buffer. So that there's a wave dash buffer. So this is wave dash in place. Right, jump in air dodge. Wave dash up B. You have to be very quick with that. It's much tighter timing than doing an air dodge and then you know, prepping for the up B. 
but that is doable too. You can do it out of air dodges, you can do it out of wave dashes, you can technically, you can do it out of shield rolls. If you try hard enough, Let's see? So basically, all you have to do, put yourself into a situation, cannot move, cannot make another input. Buffer an input, bada bing bada boom, you buffer into the next stage. As long as you make sure that you pause within, I believe it's two to three frames of making the actual input, you'll be fine. Something else I want to mention too, as you saw with um, air dodges, like a forward wave dash or something, it can go different distances. So what you'll see here in Secret Volcano Tunnel, I'm going to do a buffered air dodge. So that was that was a side B. You see how I ended up going off the off the stage there by just a little bit. Do I go a little bit further that time? May not have noticed it. It's much more noticeable on a stage like uh, versus battles. You'll see. I go about here. Try to do it after getting hit. Well, that's a good example of it, I guess, I suppose. A good example of differences in distances. If you do a shield buffered wave dash, I end up about here. But if you do an aerial buffered wave, you end up a little closer. I'm sure you can see in that. Um, but yeah, so that's basically buffering. So again, a rundown of it. Let's go back into downtown and show it one more time. Air jump. In place air dodge. Input. Put pause. Start over. Trying to do it. Let me. I definitely am in side B. Um, let's see. Is there anything else I should go over? I'm trying to think real quick if there's something else. I guess another thing to mention would be um, when you're looking to buffer, remember that like you have you have a lot of time here. You don't have to rush this. You can take your time with the input and make sure the input is proper. Um, also, the pause. This matters. This doesn't matter at all. This here doesn't mean shit. I can start over now and it'll buffer. I could fucking immediately it would buffer. I could wait hours. I wanted to, and it would still buffer. Yeah. You guys don't gotta worry about that at all. Um, aside from that, I think that's really the only thing to mention. Uh, the other thing I guess I could mention is like, say you get hit by something, you can still buffer after getting hit. I don't know if you saw, but I tapped, I tapped my shield button and then buffer just like I would here. I did the buffer the exact same way, just without the jump, and it'll still work after getting hit. If you're in hit stun, all you have to do is make sure that you tap shield first. As long as you tap shield first, you'll be able to buffer. Uh, but yeah, so if anyone has any questions, uh, feel free to comment them. Obviously, if you're in the Slap City Discord, uh, you can at me in the speedrunning channel or DM me directly. My DMs are always open. My name in there is GS Nixie. Yeah. Catch you guys later. Hope you have fun buffering. Peace.